Rockford Jake here today. I'm joined by Mary from the Rockford Area Arts Council. How's it going, Mary? Very well, thank you. Hey, so uh, tell me, for those that don't know, a little bit about what the Rockford Area Arts Council is. Okay, well, I like to describe the Rockford Area Arts Council as the umbrella arts and culture organization for our region. So when you say that, you might think, what does that mean? And I like <laughs> to give a little bit of a comparable, Jake. I like to do like a, um, if you look at United Way, United Way is the umbrella human services organization. Okay. And so they look at um, funding sources, they look at community partners, they pool all of those resources, and then they disseminate funds and resources to those organizations that need it the most and who are doing really effective work. Yeah. The Arts Council acts a lot like uh, United Way in that sense. We are the umbrella arts organization. So we bring together, our, we pool our resources, we bring our arts and culture organizations together. We then disseminate you know, important funding information, opportunities for artists and arts organizations, mm -hmm. and then also opportunities for the public to engage in the arts. And then we disseminate that effectively to the community. Nice. So you're kind of like the one-stop shop for the public, art, local artists and art organizations for all things kind of culture related here in the Rockford area. That's right. We like to say um, we provide access. So we provide access to art programming. We provide access to art education. We provide access to artists. If you're looking for artists, we provide action, access to resources for arts organizations and artists. So yeah. we provide access to community building, um, community partnerships, bridge building with other organizations, kind of connecting people to the resources that they're looking for. Nice. And yeah. so the Arts Council here actually has some pretty exciting news. Um, you guys are rolling out a whole bunch of new things. We are. We have a new logo which is always very exciting, especially at an, uh, an arts organization. We love, <laughs> we love new beautiful things. So yeah, um, our logo was done by Allison Weist and she works over at Trek. She did a beautiful job. And now we are rebranding through our entire website. So we are working with Astute Web Group with uh, Mr. Nicolosi over there and his team. And they are putting together a beautiful website for us, kind of bringing us into the 21st century, uh, bringing together all of our resources, our new logo, and kind of making that all come together in a way that is easy for you as a consumer to get around and navigate the arts community. So our website served us well, and now we're moving on to a little bit, you know, that 21st century website that's pretty accessible. We've got all sorts of uh, ableness uh, available on our website so that you can enlarge fonts, you can get captions, you can find um, all of our information in various languages. So we're very excited about that new website rebuild. Yeah, super exciting. And for those out there that um, are artists themselves, or maybe they're not an artist and they're just a fan of art, right? They right. like music, they enjoy pretty things on their walls, and they want to support our local art community. Like, what are some ways that they can get engaged with the Arts Council, follow you, and get in contact with you? Wonderful. Well, this is my favorite information. You can become a member. Uh, to become a member at the Arts Council is $30, uh, but we also provide artist memberships for a lesser amount. We provide arts organization membership. Uh, uh, arts or, uh, I have to start over on that. Okay, you can start over on that. <laughs> okay, I got to think about how I want to phrase this too. Other things that you, we provide. So access to um, what? access to newsletter, access to funding opportunities, access to, what else did we talk about? Oh my God, it's so funny, you just blank. <laughs> okay, you can ask me the question and I'll be ready. All right. So for those that are either artists themselves or maybe they're not an artist and they just really appreciate those creative people here in Rockford, like they like music, they like pretty things on their walls, like how can people get engaged with the Arts Council and support our local art community? Well, great question. Everybody appreciates the arts and has the arts integrated into their lives, maybe without even knowing it. So what the Arts Council does is provide opportunities for one, for you to see those opportunities in the community, for you to be aware of the things that are happening in the arts community. Uh, through our monthly newsletter, we have arts and culture organizational uh, monthly meetings. 
We have uh, committees you can join. We have a board of directors. We can also direct you to those areas of interest in the arts and the culture community where you might have an interest. You might want to get involved in the arts, arts and culture community, and we can direct you to maybe a board of directors that you might be interested in or perhaps sitting in on a committee, or perhaps becoming a member, or buying season tickets. So we have lots of resources here to lend to you to ensure that you are engaged with the arts community. That's awesome. And last but not least, like, where can they follow you to stay up to date with all the things that are going on in and around the Arts Council and the rest of the art community? Yes, we are on Facebook and Instagram, and our website is www.artsforeveryone.com. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Mary, for taking the time to get together and chat. And big congratulations on the rebrand. That is always super, super exciting when you get to do like new logos and websites and flyers, like all the cool, like fun things that come with that. I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support. I'm able to lo uh, interview local organizations like the Arts Council and wonderful people here like Mary and bring you all this Rockford Positive content for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them. And we will catch you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.